welcome back to the channel as promised this is the follow-up video from the previous video that i posted of me prepping and styling my wig so this is going to be the installation part of the process if you haven't watched the previous video please make sure that you watch it before you continue watching this one so that you know you understand what is going on but yeah let me not ramble too much and let's jump straight into the video i hope you enjoy it and please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel because we are on the road to 1k i know we can do it and the only way that we can do it is if we do it together so please 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 like comment share and subscribe and let's get into the video okay so here is my wig still sitting pretty from um yesterday i'm just gonna pop her on my head i don't feel like my entire bare head being on camera today so i'm just gonna put it on and then i'll come back on screen but i just wanted to show you what she looks like and then um on the side i have all my um <laughs> hair equipment this is my hair basket i wholeheartedly believe in doing things myself so i just buy all the products put them in this little box right here and watch tiktok and youtube and basically achieve the look myself because cost of living in this country that i am in currently is not looking too cute and i need to make sure that i look you know decent while i am here but anyways let me put this wig on my head i'll be right back okay so the wig is on this is what she's looking like on me as you can see she's already kind of like blending into my um complexion and that's just because the first time i got this wig i got it installed by someone so she like bleached the knots plucked and like did all of that stuff so that, that's why it's easier for me to reinstall this wig because everything was pretty much done for me before so yeah that's what it's looking like I'm not too mad at it i'm just gonna go ahead and install it i want to listen to music while i'm doing this because i think i'll work a bit faster so i will jump into voiceover mode right now so that you guys do not get left behind and that you follow along <laughs> voiceover irene here um before we get into the thick of it the first thing that i like to do before i install my wig is pin the hair back just so that it's out of the way and you know I can see what I am doing without having any hair in the way and yeah so first things first we are going to apply our adhesive this is just a glue that I got in the packaging of a curly wig that I got I actually filmed the installation process of that wig so I'll link it up above in case you want to watch another install video of mine but yeah that's the glue that I'm going to be using and I'm just going to be using my fingers to apply this glue I'm not trying to do anything too crazy and I'm just applying the glue around the perimeter of my forehead in front of my hairline honestly I probably shouldn't even be using this adhesive because it makes me break out and when the breakouts come it leaves scars as you can see my forehead has so many scars that is as a result of like constantly installing my wigs with this glue and i know that it's this glue because i've tried installing my wigs with just like you know your usual got to be bedhead ebon like you know those adhesive sprays and i don't react the way that i react when i use this glue but for the purposes of this video i'm just gonna have to firm it and hope for the best just so that i can you know give you guys the results that you deserve and i will suffer the consequences consequences if i have to but yeah that's basically how i apply the glue just simply with my fingers and i let it dry you can tell that i have put the glue further down 
it looks quite close to like my eyebrows and like all of that that's just because i don't want to stick the wig on my hairline because i'm not trying to lose any hair because i'm in the process of you know growing my hair so yeah that's why it is that far down it'll work in the end you'll see but yeah i just wanted to get that out the way now i'm just using my mini hand fan just to speed up the drying process of the glue you could use a hair dryer if you want or just like a piece of paper to fan the glue dry i just picked up the fan because it was the closest thing that i could um grab but yeah i just wait until that glue is clear and then i simply place the lace on top of it and press down to secure it in that particular area it's all self-explanatory so i'm going to just let you guys watch and enjoy the music So now I'm just using my comb to press down the lace into the glue and I'm doing that by like pressing down and then just brushing backwards to also make sure that there are no strands of hair that are stuck in the glue. As you can see guys, this glue is strong. I was trying to see if I could adjust it and move it but it was like pretty much secure already you could see that it was not even lifting and i haven't even tied this lace down with a band so yeah it's not uh you can take this off with water type of um glue like you need rubbing alcohol but yeah i was just trying to figure out whether i liked the placement of the wig but it was too late i could not not like it because taking this off was just a non-starter and i just had to deal with it but yeah so after that i just took the time to make sure that the sides were secure and not lifting always like to go back in with some glue just to fill in the areas that i might have missed when you know laying the lace down so that's just what i'm doing now and i'm just you know checking just to make sure that i haven't missed a single spot And this is what the final product looks like i come a little bit closer just to show you guys you know what the lace is giving and i was very impressed at that point because like i could have really just left it like that but of course i had to melt it to do that i am using this wig band that came with this wig actually and i am just going to tie that around my lace for a couple of minutes just to you know hold that lace in place and to make sure that it dries down completely Finally time to take the melt band off and that is what the lace is looking like. It looks pretty good if you ask me. I am aware that that parting is not in the middle. I end up fixing it at the end of the video so don't worry. I'm so sorry if it's annoying you but i'll fix it but um yeah at this point i was just gonna take my spritz and just spray a little bit on the lace and then put the lace band back on to melt that and then 
I was done. <laughs> Ish, I'm a liar. I'm so sorry I wasn't done. I forgot that I went in with my hot comb after I had fixed the parting because obviously because I had fixed it, it was now bumpy and it wasn't giving laid. It wasn't giving flat. So I had to go back and make sure that it was giving what it was supposed to give. And it really was. This parting looks way better than what it looked like before. And I'm sure you guys can agree. okay so this is the final look the wig is installed it's on my head it is firm it is secure and um it is not going anywhere <laughs> it is not going anywhere this was actually really 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 quick to do considering the fact that i straightened my hair yesterday this is what the lace is giving right now i haven't even added like any makeup or anything to like make it blend more this is literally just from the melt and it looks pretty good i am obsessed this is a 28 inch 13 by 6 frontal and it is from wild angel on aliexpress like i mentioned all the specifications and links will be down below it is transparent lace and what else natural color i guess and it's a straight wig that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the process and that it was easy to follow I love it i just love how soft the hair feels also like i'm literally just running my fingers through it and i didn't feel like doing um baby hairs because i'm not really good at doing baby hairs on wigs so i was like i don't want to ruin it and also when i first installed this wig she never did baby hairs for me so i don't even have like you know little pieces to guide me with the baby hairs so i just left it because there's nothing better than a clean baby hairless install but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one maybe i'll do my makeup in the next one let's make this like a three-part series <laughs> whatever you want to call it but um yeah sorry i can't stop touching my hair but yeah let me love and leave you i will see you in the next video bye